So I wanted to just show you a really quick tip um, that I find very useful for animating characters inside of Cinema 4D. Um, oftentimes when you're animating a shot, uh, your camera is pretty should be pretty well set. If it's a static shot, uh, you don't want to be moving around your camera. So usually you can restrict the camera here with the protection tag. Now the problem with that is I can no longer move around in that sort of... Uh, that, that hogs up the perspective view. So, I mean, you could always just go into a different view, like top, and set it to perspective. So you now have, um, you have your camera view, and then you have a perspective view, side and front. Um, but I like to keep my orthographic views. So what I find useful is to actually have a new uh, view panel. So let me turn off my camera here. And I'll choose Window, New View Panel. And you can see it creates a new window here. And so I'm going to go to my scene camera. And so here you can see I have it set up to where I can't uh, rotate around. But if I go into here and return to the editor camera, now I have my F1 as my perspective, F2 as top, side, and front. So I now have a view that's uh, what's going to be my rendered view, especially if I choose edit and use as render view. So I have that visible. Oops, I did not mean to close that. Bring that back up here. And what I like to do is I actually like to dock this uh, in a tab next to the object manager. And the reason why I usually do this is because I usually have my controllers set up fairly well to where I can easily just select them. So I'm usually not having to go into the object manager a whole lot. This uh, is really helpful because you like to sort of look around, make sure your shot is actually working in, in all three dimensions, but you also have the actual shot, which the ca this shot here on the side is the most important. This is the one that has to look right but you also have the ability to look around your character and make sure it looks good in all, all 3D views. Now what may happen by default is uh, you can see here I have splines turned off in, in my, you know, my final or my camera uh, view but not in my perspective view. Um, typically if you try to turn off splines uh, it would actually turn them off for both. So the way you can do it so it's um, done on a per view basis is if you choose edit, configure all, and you can take all these filters or whichever filters you want, you can right click on them and choose make parameter global or you'd want to choose make parameter, parameter local. So I have all of them set to be local with the exception of this axis band. So uh, let's see here, what can I try to select? Oops. Let me just show you here, I'll go back into the configure view. I'll set them all to be global. So this is what it would be by default, and if you tried to go into the filter menu here and turn it off, you can see it would actually turn it off here as well. But if I go in and choose set param or make parameter local, now I can actually go come into here and set to uh, oops, turn splines back on, and go into my perspective view, turn splines back on as well. Um, this does become a bit of a nuisance though, as because these are all local, every new view and new scene file you, you'll have to reset some of these things so you may not want all of these to be um, local parameters I like to keep the axis bands uh, global so they're always visible but so now I can just turn I you can just turn this all off turn on polygon and turn on generators because I have a few uh, splines and plane objects and now you have your shot here so you can go in and uh, cycle some of your animation so you get an idea of how it looks
with the freedom to continue to move around your your scene in all four views so uh, that's just a little tip I thought I'd share with everybody this was passed down to me by my uh, mentor from class one Joe Mandia you can also try to um, if you can set it to constant shading to kind of get a better idea of some of your silhouettes as well um, if I turn on if I bring in a light and let me just go to it here go back into actual shading if I select this light and if I move it back and down actually you can see a good silhouette of your character as well so I could go in here and I could actually filter off lights in my um, that didn't want to work what I can do is I could turn on uh, something like quick shading which doesn't use the lights influence but in this one leave it as uh, garage shading and that gives me a good idea of my silhouettes as well so that's also very useful you can use in this uh, extra view panel as well so hope you uh, got a little something from these tips and uh, take it easy